Bundesliga dreams. A young talent on the up and removing barriers to enable the disabled. Feeling the atmosphere, the passion, it sends shivers down your spine. It's great fun. Looking up to the big names. Even basic training with Bundesliga stars is brilliant. Dreams that span the globe. This journey is a dream come true for me. Dreams fulfilled, sometimes out of the blue. It's fantasy stuff, like something you'd see in a film. Amazing, emotional and very human stories, all made in the Bundesliga, where it's mission possible. From a motorway service station. Those are moments you never forget. To Bundesliga centre stage. Reid Labaku was on the bus to a reserve game. I was dropped off here and the sporting director came and took me to the team hotel. A call from the head coach at very short notice. Riedler, we need you. Then it was sit back and wait. I was totally relaxed. I got a cappuccino and croissant and just thought a bit about the game. Waiting to go back for his Bundesliga debut. Some guy on the road in full Mainz kit. A few people were certainly wondering what I was doing there. Back to Mainz for Reid Labaku on pressing Bundesliga business. Training at Hoffenheim with a few particularly interested spectators. It's really exciting just to watch the pros at work, up close and personal. You can see the routines not so different from ours. Obviously, it's all done at a higher tempo, but there are definite similarities with the movement and practice drills. For us, it's fun to watch and quite emotional. Athletes who've lost part of a limb to accident, illness or injury. Amputee football allows them to keep playing the sport they love. National team skipper Christian Heinz has a special eye on Kevin Akpaguma. In April 2017, the young Hoffenheim defender suffered a cervical fracture that almost ended his own career. I had a splint here that was always pressing against my neck. So when you're upright, there's this constant pressure on your bones. It wasn't so bad lying down, but just being on my feet was extremely uncomfortable. Kevin Akpoguma and Hoffenheim midfield star Kerem Demirbay. All set for a football game with a difference. We've got your crutches here. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give it a go. I'm left-footed, so I'll keep it up out of respect. Respect for fellow footballers who've battled their own odds to be here. In Stefan Schmidt's case, it was a clash in an amateur match. I broke my shin and calf bone. The keeper was a bit over-motivated in the challenge and broke my shin bone with his knee. It's an ugly-looking injury, but normally not that dramatic. But clinical misjudgment led to drastic measures being required. In the end, all they could do was amputate. It's crazy. It reminds me of a time I was fouled in a game in Berlin. That could easily have ended very badly. I was lucky there. Him less so. This was... That's really quite a story. And it's something that could happen to any of us. Time for the pros to get in a bit of practice. Playing football with crutches takes a bit of getting used to. I tried to do it on one leg, but obviously the other one's there. And as you saw, I kept going to use my left leg. <laughs> you don't have that option, unfortunately. Hats off, five. Every respect for what you're doing. Top athletes facing a new kind of challenge. And disabled footballers enjoying a kickabout with their heroes. 
Your whole upbeat approach, I have to say, I can only admire it. The guys just go out there with this positive attitude, doing something they love, playing football. It's been a great experience for me, and all the better if I was able to help raise a few more smiles. And for the visitors, Hoffenheim highlights that will long be remembered. It's a huge honor to get to play with you and sit here beside you. You guys are our role models. Just to meet you and Kevin and see you're quite normal people with no airs and graces. You grabbed the crutches and had a kickabout with us. It's been great fun, and we've had a fantastic day. Living out a Bundesliga dream with Kerem and Kevin. And here, the role model effect seems to be working both ways. A Bayern shirt, over 12,000 kilometers from its natural Munich home. What's the story? I always wear a football shirt. I do sometimes get teased for it. Welcome to Santiago, capital of Chile, home of Christopher Fuentes. I feel good in the shirt. It somehow just feels like the right thing to be wearing. A dyed-in-the-wool Bayern fan in South America. I don't know any other team who play like Bayern, in Europe or anywhere else, really. In Santiago, the biggest local clubs are Colo Colo and Universidad de Chile, so what drew Christopher to faraway Bayern? I've liked Bayern München since I was 10, or a bit more. 12 years, it was basically just a case of enjoying the way they played. And he's always had one particular favourite in red. It all began when they signed Iron Robin. From then on, I enjoyed watching Bayern even more, with Robin and Ribéry playing together. You could say, with Bayern, it was love at first sight. The history student's dream to see Bayern play at first hand. A long-standing joke for his friends, until he won a competition to do just that. My first thought was, is this actually going to happen? I mean, what a prize, a trip to Germany to see Bayern. I've never been outside of the continent, never left the country. Even when Chilean superstar Arturo Vidal was there, Robin was always his number one. I love how he plays and links up with Ribéry. He's so quick, the way he homes in on goal, that all just bowled me over. Whether Christopher's with his girlfriend or with the whole of the rest of the family, when the Bundesliga is on, it's the main event in the Fuentes household. First and foremost, it's about putting on the shirt to watch Bayern every weekend. I wouldn't miss that for anything in the world. I'll make a special note of it. Must watch the Bayern game this weekend. Time to pack his suitcase for a long match day commute. Jackets against the cold in Germany. Trousers. And my Bayern shirt, of course. Bundesliga fever on the rise. The thing I'm looking forward to most is actually visiting the Allianz Arena. Because it's the home of Bayern, obviously. And also because the German national team sometimes plays there. And of course, it was one of the host venues for the 2006 World Cup in Germany. For him, a first-hand taste of the Bundesliga means actually getting to play in it. I've been seven years at Leipzig. It really means a lot to me. His city, his club. Eric Majetschak is a true born son of the region. At the Leipzig Academy, his football heroes are so near, and yet so far. What could be better than turning pro for your local club? That's what every young player wants. At Leipzig, I'm lucky enough to have the chance to make it happen. He's made the matchday squad a few times already. On the side, he's also studying sport management. 
You never know how things will turn out in football, and the university is very close to the training ground, so it's easy to combine the two. The academy's star graduate? Yusuf has shown the way. He's a good example for all of us here. Danish forward Yusuf Carlsen took a step up. Ralph Rangnick's current squad is packed with international talent. But the region has produced its own world-class players. My idol is retired now, unfortunately. That was Michel Balak, a similar kind of player to me, or I'm similar to him. He had a presence out on the pitch and a style of play that was all really impressive. The setup at Leipzig couldn't be better, but Eric's still going that extra yard. I've a personal trainer here. I've pretty much grown up alongside him. On top of all the regular training, you really need to do a bit more. Success is ultimately the product of hard work. We've become good friends and it's a dream for both of us that his work will help me make it to the top and establish myself in the Bundesliga. Eric's father played top-flight football in the former East Germany. He himself has already captained Germany at youth level. One national team colleague has already made the top-flight grade, Hertha's Dennis Jastrzemski. <laughs> How's it going? Alles gut bei dir. Everything all right? How's it with the Hertha Berlin? We did well. We won. How about you? We won at the weekend. Tell me about your Bundesliga debut. What was it like? It was an awesome feeling. Playing to that size of crowd, a full house at home, I get subbed on and we beat Nuremberg as well. Just brilliant. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> and your Europa League game? Yeah, that was great as well. 2-0 against Celtic. That came on at the end. It was something else for sure. All right then, I'll see you around. The heavenly prospect of playing in the Bundesliga. Where better than the Leipzig Observatory to indulge in such starry-eyed reflections? My dream for sure, to turn pro, to make my name in the Bundesliga and maybe one day play for Germany. Leipzig is also the professional home of one of German football's brightest shooting stars. Timo Werner has already made it right to the top. I believe I've got the qualities to take the next step. Now it's up to me to consistently demonstrate those qualities. Every Bundesliga club has outstanding prospects in its ranks. Not everyone can make it. Training with the senior squad has only further fueled Eric's ambition. That was pretty exciting. In with the professionals. These flair players you only really know from the TV or your PlayStation. And then you're out on the pitch alongside them. It's brilliant even just doing a few basic passing moves with them. For all fans of the Bundesliga, it's a name well worth noting. Eric Majerczak. Back to Reed Labaku with relegation battling Mainz, Leipzig, the visitors, and his parents in the crowd. I purposely didn't tell them. They were surprised to see me out there and happy. My father couldn't believe it, seeing my name in the lineup, seeing me play. Baku in at the deep end, a Bundesliga footballer. It's fantasy stuff, like something you'd see in a film. And about to get even better. Back on his debut to score and to seal a marvellous Mainz victory. Another unlikely entry for the Bundesliga archives. In those circumstances, in the 90th minute, scoring my first Bundesliga goal, it's indescribable. 
A latter-day footballing fairy tale. That's Certainly an emotional moment. For player and fans alike. From youth team graduate to hometown hero in the blink of an eye. I couldn't get to sleep after the game and the buzz stayed with me for days. I still think about it today. It's not the kind of thing you forget. His parents came to Germany from the Congo following their own dreams. A great story. It might happen again. He's written a first memorable one of his own. The new Bundesliga star, straight from the motorway service station. These players are also part of the Bundesliga community. Germany's national amputee team, supported by Hoffenheim. Captain Christian Heinz lost his right leg in a motoring accident, but it wouldn't stop him playing football. I couldn't picture exactly what it involved, but I was gripped straight away by the sheer pace of the game. And basically, it's much the same as normal football. Obviously, we use a couple of mobility aids, but otherwise, you'll see diving headers, bicycle kicks, all the rest. Playing football on one leg is a high-intensity affair. You get onto this team by way of a serious accident or illness. The Bundesliga stars represent the professional peak of a sport that has helped improve their quality of life. Success is addictive here as there. The team have the backing of longtime Hoffenheim patron Dietmar Hopp. The Hoffenheim Affiliated Association Kickoff Into Life has helped us establish a solid foundation. We've been playing amputee football here regularly since 2014. It's our home from home, and we're very grateful for it. A positive professional atmosphere. Give me a tea! Give me a lens! Give me a gay! What's this? Match day at Hoffenheim. Christian Heinz and company are fervent home fans. Here, as throughout the Bundesliga, access for all is a priority. With the layout here at Hoffenheim, you've never far to go. Wheelchair users can park right where they have to go up. We have trained personnel and they get to their place quickly. Bundesliga match day magic. Before his accident, Christian Heinz, like so many other youngsters in Germany, dreamed of playing in the Bundesliga. I was eight, going to my first game, Schalke against Köln. I got the bug right there and still have it today. Football, a sport powered by emotion. Hoffenheim's swashbuckling style, positively addictive. Feeling the atmosphere, smelling the Bratwurst, being right there at the edge of the pitch, sharing the passion with 50,000 people at the stadium, it sends a shiver down your spine every time. It's great. The Bundesliga experience. It's about so much more than mere results. And the next experience is on the way. Destination Munich. Christopher Fuentes, a long way from Santiago, closer than ever to his beloved Bayern. The plan is to take a look around Munich and then go to the Bayern game. I'd like to get to know the Allianz Arena and see the team win and earn another three points. 
y conseguir los tres puntos. New sights, new sounds, but a very familiar football league. And here it is, Bayern's home arena. The history student is truly in his element now. Pero... So I'm here on the pitch where so many top stars play. The venue for the Champions League final in 2012. Bayern couldn't win that one, but they did a year later. They celebrated so many titles at this stadium. It's fantastic to have the chance to stand here now. A moment to cherish for the young visitor from Chile. We're very happy to welcome you here in Munich. I hope you all enjoy your journey and the visit here. And Enjoy the match. I think it's a very unique experience. He loves wearing his Bayern shirt, and now he's got one of Iron Robins. <laughs> and so to the main event. Christopher wants to burn every moment of this game into his memory. Bayern put three goals past Dusseldorf, but ultimately have to settle for a draw. Still, he's met his heroes and done a TV interview. Quite a day all round. For sure. I've seen Munich, learnt about its history, culture and the stadium. I've watched Bayern play in the Bundesliga and I've got a signed shirt from my favourite player. The Bundesliga Dream Machine, casting its net worldwide. Yeesh. Half a year on from his spectacular debut, Reid Labaku is a Bundesliga regular. It was always my dream to play here. Now it's happening, and it's indescribable. He's certainly not taking it for granted. At the start, it just gives you goosebumps to be out there, playing in front of 30,000 people. Other than a few hundred at a regional league game, playing in the Bundesliga is just such a great experience every time. Having started with a bang against Leipzig, Baku struck again a week later to help secure a win at Dortmund. The Bundesliga novice in the role of Mike Saviour. They were both important goals, and I'm proud to have done my bit to help keep the team up. But football's all about what happens next, and at the moment, things are going quite well. Bota and Zuzi Baku. Riedler was originally a nickname bestowed by his father, a big fan of Champions League and World Cup winning frontman Karl Heinz Riedler. I share his name now, so the goal at Dortmund was an extra bonus. And I know he was at the stadium that day. I've learned a bit about him. He scored on his Bundesliga debut as well. For me, he's an inspiration as to where the road can lead. I'm really glad my father gave me that name. Baku Senior's football idol is also keeping an eye on the league's new Riedler. He plays in a totally different position to me. He's a good, aggressive player who can slot into a few different roles. Time will tell, but he's certainly heading in the right direction. Baku always knew his scoring start was unlikely to prove the norm. In football, making the decisive difference is sometimes also down to a bit of luck. You have to be able to function under pressure. And it's not always easy for young players. The good thing at Mainz is that the fans know me. I'll put my foot to the floor and just try to do my best. Sidelined since late October with an ankle injury, he's now well along the way on the comeback track. It's nice to be back in the familiar routines, playing in packed out stadiums, hopefully winning games. It's a great feeling. That's what I'm training for and working towards every day. Just keep living the dream. Namesake Karl Heinz knows all about that. <laughs> Dear Reid Labaku, I hope you make a swift return from injury and get back to top form soon. 
First of all, thanks for those good wishes. I'm delighted to hear from him. Hopefully, we can stay in touch. Tales of the Bundesliga, straight from the heart. Inspirational, aspirational, and passionate. Bundesliga, mission possible.